let's assume that we have an institution, possibly a driver's license division of the government that wants to issue a credential to Alice. And let's track how this credential gets issued and then gets used, and then we'll show how revocation uh, is handled. So first the institution creates a credential. Credential is signed and it has to be issued, which is a transmission process plus a recording process, to Alice. When this process is done, the issuing institution doesn't need to retain a copy of what they've issued, although they do need some bookkeeping about it. So Alice now has a credential and she wants to use it to prove something to another institution, perhaps uh, a potential employer. So uh, she generates from the credential a proof, and you'll notice that the proof is a little bit smaller than the credential and doesn't have as much information, but it does still contain some di digital signature material. And once she has generated this proof specifically for the relying party, she transmits it in a proving interaction and the relying party sees it. This is great. How does the relying party actually decide whether to trust this credential? The answer is that uh, we have to use a ledger. So let's assume that there is a ledger and the ledger has two important pieces of information on it. One is a piece of information that says that DIDX, which we will assume was the DID that the issuing institution, the driver's license division, used to issue that credential, has a particular verification key. This is used so that the relying party can check to see whether the digital signatures are legitimate. The second thing that is on the ledger that is part of the verification process is this thing called an accumulator. An accumulator is basically the answer to a math problem and that math problem has been communicated to the issuer of the or to the holder of the credential by the issuer in advance the proof that gets generated by the holder refers to that math problem and the relying party can check to see whether the math problem still has the answer that they expect which proves that the holder of the credential is holding something that has not been revoked. Now, if the issuing institution decides they want to revoke the credential, they go and they change by adding a replacement record, uh, the value of accumulator W on the ledger. And when that replacement record uh, is written, the next time that verification happens, it will fail because the math problem can no longer be solved by the person who holds the credential. And as a result, the relying party or verifier knows that the credential has been revoked.